an Indiana mother of two who told her family it felt like she couldn't drink enough water to feel satiated, collapsed, and died from water toxicity. A rare consequence of drinking too much water too quickly. Ashley Summers, 35, was out at Lake Freeman with her husband and two young daughters over the 4th of July weekend when she began feeling severely dehydrated. Someone said she drank four bottles of water in 20 minutes, her brother Devin Miller told WRTV. I mean, an average water bottle is like 16 ounces, so that was 64 ounces that she drank in a span of 20 minutes. That's half a gallon. That's what you're supposed to drink in a whole day. On the last day of the family's trip, the mom began feeling like she couldn't drink enough water. Summers complained about feeling lightheaded and having a stubborn headache, her family said. My sister Holly called me and she was just an absolute wreck. She was like, Ashley is in the hospital. She has brain swelling. They don't know what's causing it. They don't know what they can do to get it to go down. And it's not looking good, said Miller. After returning from the trip, Summers passed out in her garage before being taken to IU Health Arnett Hospital. She never regained consciousness, and doctors told her family she had died from water toxicity. It was a shock to all of us. When they first started talking about water toxicity, it was like this is a thing, Miller recalled. Water toxicity, also known as water poisoning or water intoxication, occurs when too much water is consumed in a short period of time or if the kidneys retain too much water due to underlying health conditions. Symptoms of water toxicity include feeling generally unwell, as well as having muscle cramps, soreness, nausea, and headaches. Dr. Blake Froberg, a toxicologist with the hospital, told the outlet the rare cause of death is more likely to occur during the summer or if someone works outside or exercises frequently. There are certain things that can make someone more at risk for it, but the overall thing that happens is that you have too much water and not enough sodium in your body, Froberg said, later noting it's important for people to drink things that have electrolytes, sodium, and potassium. Summers was an organ donor and was able to donate her heart, liver, lungs, kidneys, and some of her long bone tissue, ultimately saving five other lives, her family said.